My name is Arielle Schwartz. Kava Len. My name is Dee Hirschberg. Corey Lyons. My name is Tamar Cohen. My name is Libby Lack. Gabriella Rossman. Tamar Cohen. My name is Daniela Weiss. My name is Malky Blisco. <laughs> When I first came into ninth grade, it was just me. Like, I was the only new girl. Like, everyone else came from the same class, so I was really nervous. In ninth grade, I was, like, a little shy. I was nervous about starting new things. It flew by. It's crazy that I'm in 12th grade and I'm graduating. Yeah, it feels like I was just in ninth grade, like, a day ago. I was a transfer student in 10th grade, and as soon as I walked in, I knew this was the place for me. I lived in Indiana, and then we came here. What sold Hadar for me was definitely coming to the first open house. So it was a new school and we were just the second year so coming to it was different. In ninth grade I loved it just because at first honestly I was really nervous but the Shockets told me like there's nothing to be nervous about and honestly there was nothing to be nervous about. These past four years at Adar have really been incredible. I came to Adar in 11th grade. I moved from Chicago. Although I live in Miami, Hadar was definitely the best option out of all the schools for me, and I loved it ever since I came. So I think a favorite memory was the first Shabbaton. Everyone was just really unified, and it was a really good experience. I really enjoyed it. It's like, it doesn't matter if you know each other or don't know each other. Everybody just bonded. It was the most amazing experience. It was fun, and it was spiritual and everything just really brought me closer either to my teachers, my friends, and even to understand myself more. And then I remember one of the older girls from last year, she came up to me and she like put her arm around me and she's like, I want to get to know you. We just went to the room with all of her friends and it just like made me feel very good about myself and just that I was included in that this is like my home and these are my like friends and this is like my family. One of my favorite memories at Hadar is our annual Hanukkah Chagiga. Going crazy, dancing, having a blast, and we saw a girl who lives in the community with her mom just sitting like on the sidelines. We decided like, you know what, like we're gonna pull her in. Grabbing her into the circle, and like she really like had this big smile on her face. The mom actually came up to me and said like, what you did for my daughter, like you made her night. Like, the thought that you had to like bring her into the circle, like that really made her, and that's one of my favorite memories. <laughs> It's hard to choose one, but one of my favorites is before Purim we do like kind of like a spirit week where we do something different every single day. So it was just like a lot of happiness in the air. And we were practicing for our play and we all were just like acting together and that was like a great opportunity to like use my talents but also be with everyone else. Like and it was just like a lot of unity. It was so much fun. The whole experience was just getting to like dance with everyone and sing with everyone and just Getting, I, I, I felt like I got to know people so much better. I think it was last year in 11th grade when I got to be color war captain. Definitely with a leadership role, I think that that really like made my talent shine through. Definitely color war, because color war is not it's just like, it's not only about competition, it's about bonding with like other grades and other classes. These past four years at Adar have really been incredible. There's been so many opportunities for me to grow and really push myself to becoming who I am today. I think I grew a lot. I take a lot more like initiative and things now. I like to take leadership opportunities. I like to get involved in the school. Hadar showed me to like work hard towards a goal and like if you have your mind set towards something then you could really accomplish it. I think it showed me not even just for school but for life. I just feel like I learned like a lot of like confidence and like you have to really like believe in yourself. I had these opportunities and, and I knew that I wanted to do a lot in my high school career. Like, Hadar really helped me and allowed me to grow and like start new clubs and be involved in things that I've never thought I would be involved in. I feel like I've grown so much. Hadar has really like helped me grow from like this little like bud to like now I'm like this bouquet and I love that. It's really helped me see who I am, who I want to be, and like what kind of person I want to be really. I think Hadar really taught me to be more independent because they offer so many like extracurriculars and they say that if you want to make a program, you go and do it and we'll support you. Independence is like really key when you're older and I think that Hadar really showed me that. I can be independent and it's not scary. It's like an amazing feeling. It was just so many different things that I've learned so much that I just feel like I have like so much more of an awareness about the world around me and how to understand it. I think that Hadar has definitely prepared me for the future. They've drilled in for these past four years the sense of unity and how important it is to go to people if you need anything and how to be that person for people to come to. I definitely was very shy when I was younger and like not the most outgoing person. And when I came to Hadar, they like pushed me 
out of my comfort zone. If I were to think thought in ninth grade, like, am I going to be like programming head? I would have said no in like not even a second. And now I'm here and I'm like more of an outgoing person. Hadar really is an amazing place and it has given me so much and I'm going to really miss it. But I know that once a Hadar girl, always a Hadar girl and I know they're always going to be there for me.